Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Benjamin K. Jr. Well, today we're going to be doing another set of videos. All right. So this time around, we're going to be doing an incredible videos. Today, we're going to know how we can enhance our mouse pointer style and also how we can create a screen saver using our name, our time, photos, and etc. All right. So stay tuned and let's start this tutorial together and it's going to be very interesting okay so thank you and let's begin all right guys so just look at your windows logo kit on your keyboard and press it now once you've done that you just tap in settings right you tap in settings and then you look here for it you can click it or you just enter the enter key on your keyboard you click the enter key on your keyboard now here we are out of systems right our systems here what we're going to be doing the first thing that we're going to be doing is how we can enhance our mouse or pointer style right so here we just come and tap in pointer or mouse pointer style we have it now this is our mouse pointer style so this is where we're going to be working today okay so this this start from the beginning all right so we'll change this one we'll go back all right, you can see right now, and this is how it all works. If you just want to use the cursor like this, just black and white, all exit, all inverted mode, you can do it. But if you want to custom the cutter of it, you have to choose this one here that's a custom the cutter, and you can choose any cutter of your choice. Okay, any cutter of your choice. Now, after we have done that, if you stay not satisfied, here you can come and click on the precision so select. You click on precision select the plus signs, you click on it. And you can choose any color of your choice from here. Okay. And once you're done, then you click done. All right. If you stay not satisfied with the color you have, you can click more. And this arrow pointing down will take you to another set of colors. Now you can use the RGB or you can use the, you know, the HSV also. You can use the RGB, the HSV. So that's how you go about doing it. And if you choose your color here, all right. Let's say you chose this color. As you can see here, the code is coming, right? Now you just click done. Now you have another set of color here, orange, okay? And if you don't like the orange, fine. You can change the color, okay? You can change it to any of these ones here. Now the next one we're gonna know is how we can you know, increase or decrease the size of our printer. Yeah, we can do that by clicking and dragging. And this is our printer normal size. And if we don't want it to be this way, we can also increase it to this way or maybe to this size. Now, and here we have the touch indicator. If, you, if you're using touch screen, this, this is okay for you to learn it, to do it. So you click on it. You have to put this one on and you say make the cycle a diacode and larger. But you have to use a touch screen. This is the touch. For example, if I use this one, you see this this cycle here, 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 and here. Okay. But if you don't have a touch screen, then there is no you know need for you to put this on. You can put this off also. Now let's go back to another set of the mouse. Now we have mouse pointer speed. Okay. Mouse pointer speed, primary button, scrolling, and etc. So here we click on this one also, and now we can. We, we see our primary mouse button, which is the left button. We can change this to right button, but I prefer it stay as default. And here we have the mouse pointer speed. We can also increase the, the pointer speed and decrease the pointer speed. But remember, when we decrease the pointer speed, we would take longer time to, you know, co to complete our work using the mouse pointer. So what we have to do is we have to make a little bit faster that we can control. Maybe five or six. Five or six. I guess you can control it. If not, if you can control five or six, if you can control more than that, you can increase it, right? Now, so in, in the next one we'll have is scrolling, right? One screen at a time, multiple lines at a time using your printer, right? So you can do the lines to scroll at a time. And here you can scroll in inactive mouse when hovering over them, right? So like this, like this, like this. So inactive. So that's exactly how it, it all works for you if you put this one on, this feature, if you turn it on, if you don't need it, 
you turn it on. Oh, sorry, if you don't need it, you turn it off. If you want it, you turn it on. Now let's go to additional uh, mouse uh, setting. Now we just dealt with our pointer size and color, right? So let's go to our mouse setting. Yeah, within our mouse setting, we see we can also decrease the speed of our mouse and also increase it. So if you click and scroll down, it's gonna be very, very slow, right? So this is the mouse now. So how do you go about that? This is the mouse, not the pointer. Again, this is the mouse, not the pointer. So as you can see, double click speed. Double click the folder to test your setting. If the folder does not open or close, try using a slower setting, right? So you see, it opens, it closes, it opens, right? So now, let's use a fast phone. Okay, and again, okay? Now our primary key is working. So there we can do switch primary and secondary button, right? So now we have switch, I'm using, the secondary button, not the primary button, okay? So let's go back to our primary button, right? Now, the next one is we're gonna understand the pointers, okay? And we also have some pointers options here. So pointers here, we have, we're going to understand all of these pointers that we see. This is the normal select, okay? The normal select here, and this is our preview screen, okay? So help select, Help select with the question mark and working in background. Yeah, working in background, basic, okay. Precision so select, this we were just selecting the color of our choice, okay. And here you have it, precision select, and you have text select, okay. And here we have handwriting, and we have unavailable. And here we have vertical resize. If you're pretty much familiar with text, okay, not just ordinary text actually, but photos, Right, and if you insert a photos and you try to adjust that photos, you normally see this coming at the angle, right? You normally see this coming at the angle. So this is the vertical, the horizontal resize to resize the, the 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 photos that you will be working on. So this is the horizontal resize, and this is the diagonal resize, and diagonal one, diagonal two. So now we have move. Anytime you see this this sound here with the four arrow, you know, pointing, you know that the object that is on you can move that object anywhere you you know you wish and this one also alternative select and here link select right if you're familiar with the internet you're familiar with hyperlink hypertext whenever you click on a text that has happening you see exactly that is going to change okay you see exactly that it's going to change so let's see if we if we click apply on this one then definitely it's going, we're going to be using this one. But just for us to understand it, the basic concept. Now, this one also means every time you see this one somewhere, that means location select. That means someone is there, you're trying to locate them. Okay, there's a location there. Okay, like using Google a Map, etc. Now you see pressing select. Okay, so basically that's all they have here for you to you know, understand these are just the, the primary ones that you will need to carry on with your daily activities. So now after we have completed all of this, we go back to the next step here. Now, display pointer tails. You can display pointer tails if you wish. Okay, automatic, automatically move pointer to the default button in the dialog box, right? If you uncheck this one, that will work. If you check this one, okay, great. Now, we can also enhance our pointer precisions. We select a pointer speed. We can make our pointer slow, okay? When we make it slow, which we know that it's gonna take a longer time to accomplish our our work, so we make it a medium, right? Medium, right there. We can also add a tilt, right? Display pointer tilt, okay? So we check there and we have our pointer tilt. Now you want to see your pointer tilt? This is how it all works, so we click apply. Now we see it's basic, okay. So this is our pointer tilt. If you like this one, fine, you can keep you know, using it on your system. So we can go back also and can remove the pointer tails. And once we're done with that, hard pointed while tapping. You can hard pointed while you're tapping. Your pointer can stay be there while you're tapping, right? Uh, show locations of pointed when I press the control key, this one, okay? Once you press the control key, you click apply. Once you press the control key, wherever you're working, okay? 
you will find the location of your pointer, right? So now the next one is pointer. Yeah, we, we, we did mouse pointer, which is pointed resize and color. And we have pointed icons and visibility. We've done with that. And we dealt with all of these ones, pointer speed, primary keys. So if you go back again to our pointers here, we see mouse pointer staff, and we know how to use the precision select. Okay, choose another color. We know how to increase the pointer size. We know how to use the touch indicator. And we also know, you know, the mouse pointer, the mouse pointer speed, primary button, and scrolling, et cetera. But this one is for text cursors, but we're not gonna do, uh, talk about that today. But basically it's not anything that much. For example, you see this is the cursor right there. Okay, you can also turn it on. And if you want to use this one, you can increase it, okay? You can increase this one. And every time you see this one blinking, use the text cursor indicator to make your text cursor stand out in a, a seas of in a seas of text. Here is a preview of your changes. So this is how it's going to be, okay? This is how it is going to be. If you choose to use that, you can also do that. And here you can also increase the text, okay? The thickness of the text like this. So this is an example, this is how it's going to be, okay? So that's basically, that's all you have to do again. We, we just did this, if you want, you can choose the color of the cursor, right? And if you don't want, you can come here, precision select, and you can choose any one of the choice. Again, more colors here, once you're done, once you, you've completed this, make these changes, you click done. So that's basically, that's all you have to do with this cursor here, okay? So now we can go back and we can reduce it. If you like it, you can turn it on and see the experience of using that cursor. So that's all we have to do with this text cursor indicator. And now let's go back to doing our screen saver, okay? That's our next one. Now we click on personalization here. Once we click on personalization, we look for lock screen. Now lock screen here, and then we look for screen saver, okay? So we click on screen saver. Now we see, let's do a preview of what we're gonna be doing today. So this is the preview. This is what we are going to be designing today. All right, now, so as we pay close, as we pay close attention, we see here, we see screen saver. Now, the only way you can do anything here is you have to have at least a 3D text or screen saver, anything that you want to do. But if you have nothing here, then there's no, all the features not going to work. As you can see, such is not going to work, previous is not going to work. You can click apply and that's it. But we want to understand how to make the screen saver. So what we're going to choose is bubbles, right? We're going to choose the bubbles and then after choosing the bubbles, we click apply. Once we click apply, we click on preview. So as you can see on my screen right now, we see the bubble, okay? They're coming up. So this can be a great thing for you. I mean, for any of you know, the person that you like to show them, you like to teach them to your family or friends, or no, no, even yourself. If your screen is asleep, you still find this screen saver popping up, okay? Now the next one is the mystify, okay? So now once we're done, every time we, we change any screen saver here, we have to make changes, right? So we, have, we click apply, and then we do a preview. Next one, ribbons. Apply, preview. Next one, photos, right? We can use photos also as our screen saver. So this is it. But how did I get this photo here? I'm going to explain that. I'm going to explain that very, very soon. Okay, I'm going to explain that. Apply. Once you click apply, now we're good to go. So you click on preview. Okay. So this is this is going to always appear. This is always going to appear. This is always going to appear. This is always going to appear. Just like that. Like that and, and on and on and on and on. You can use your photo there. Now, the next one we want to use here is what well, we use bubbles, Mr. Fair, photos, ribbons, 
blank 3d text great there's more we can do 3d text but i want to show you how we got this how i got this photos here so once you select the screen server now we come to settings right you click on settings here you see use for uh, pictures from right so you browse it okay from your pc you browse it and you select the photo that you save your photos in and then once you select it you click ok and once you click ok you click save if you want to shuffle if you want to shuffle the pictures you click on shuffle the pictures and you if you want the pictures to be slow fast medium you can do it but medium is recommended so then you click on save now the next one we're going to pay attention to is the 3d text right now the 3d text is how do we get this time to be here so we click on settings again and in certain year you see time and you see custom text right so in time you don't you don't have there's no way you can customize the text them in the time because the time is general okay the time is just there okay now but there are a few things you can also do on the text you can change the font of the the time that you know the text okay now you choose font here okay you can choose this one you can choose the font style and the font and you click OK. You can change the rotation type, rotation speed, re resolutions. So now we can say Caesar. And here we have cutter. And then what they want to use, you have to first check it. So we want to use this one. We check cutter. And we can come and change our cutter to the cutter of our choice. And then we click OK. Right? We can also increase the rotation speed. We can make it a bit slower than that. And the size. All right, so once we're done now, we click OK. Then we click Apply, then we do Preview. So you can use this time, you can use the bubble, you can use the, the Mr. Fay, you can use the ribbons, you can use photos, and you can use 3D text. So now let's go back and try to use the text, the custom text. So we click on custom text here. We can change this one. We can change this one, let's say, Microsoft Edge. And then we come back and change the color, the font. Vote, okay, color, we go, this blue and we click OK and OK and preview. Microsoft Edge. So your name can also be this way, right? So all you have to do is just go back again. Right here, and you can change it. Change it to your name. Okay, now I can change the rotation type to spin. Then I click OK. I can also change the color. Okay, and here I do preview. Okay, guys, so once you're done with that, you click okay. If they ask you to apply changes, you click on apply changes, all right? So now we'll go back and we'll leave it to photos, right? And I click on apply changes and okay. So that's all you have to know to create a, a screen saver on your on your desktop. And that would be pretty amazing if you can put that into practice and you see how it is all going to be for you. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. And I hope that this two video was very amazing to you. And stay tuned for the future video. So thank you. Hi. And thank you for watching my video. 
kindly subscribe like and share also don't forget to click the notification bell to receive any of my updated video coming to you every week i hope that this video was very uh, helpful for you and i hope that you find it very interesting okay so have a wonderful day and take care god bless you next time